All right, so I haven't got any uh, any uh, stuff to show off today, but I figured I would uh, go ahead and talk with you guys tonight anyway. Um, you know, it's always fun to chat it up and uh, nerd out with you guys, so um, you know, you just get right into it. So, um, I started watching that show Powers that I mentioned to you guys the other day. It's on a, it's on the PlayStation Network, and uh, I will say it's been interesting. It's uh, based off of this book up here. This one right here, this series from uh, Bendis, and the basics behind it is uh, it, it's pretty cool. You know, there's a uh, I don't I don't think I actually said anything. Ah, I may have mentioned it the other day, but I'll do it again. Um, so super powered beings living amongst regular humans. And there's a branch of the police department called the Powers Division because the super-powered individuals are referred to as Powers. And uh, some of them are bad, obviously, and they have to be dealt with. And the regular police departments can't handle them. So they have this special division that actually was um, co-created, I guess, with the help of an individual who was a Powers before, but he was a hero, and he lost his uh, abilities in a major battle with a major badass. Um, so, it's uh, it's been entertaining to a point. The acting is hard to get past because it isn't on a major network, so the acting is kind of lacking a bit. Um, but the storyline is there. The, uh, the definite, the, the parts to make a successful show are definitely there. Um, if you can get past the, uh, actual acting, then you're good to go. It's pretty funny to me because their, their lines crack me up because it's, uh, when they're in a moment of uh of drama of heightened um uh, stress whatever they just throw in a whole bunch of cussing you know it's uh i have no problem with cussing i do it myself quite a bit and uh so it doesn't bother me but i thought it was funny the more i watched i kind of noticed that they just they they'd say you know some of the stuff four or five times in a row and I'm going, this is kind of funny that they think this is the way that they should be having all their lines. Just throw in a bunch of cussing and they're good to go. Um, you know, but again, it's on the PlayStation Network. I watch it through another uh, uh, thing called PrimeWire.ag uh, and uh, other other places you can check it out as well. But, uh, it, you know, it's entertaining to a point. So if you wanted to check it out. You know, that's it's something to watch for sure. If you're looking for another superhero show uh, with a different stance and a different uh, um, story to it. Um, I was thinking about spec tips and what I will be going after as far as books and, and whatnot. And uh, some of the older stuff that has always been somewhat collected that you should still be able to find in dollar bins, bargain bins, uh, stuff that's going to be snapped up now. You need to get it in a hurry before it gets hotter and hotter. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents issue number 72 through 84 is the Weapon X run. Um, that storyline, that that number 72 is really, really going to start heating up. Um, they are going to call the new Wolverine movie Weapon X. So, 
you might want to uh, jump on that. Um, I've read some stuff that they say that the we the Wolverine, the newest movie, is going to be called Weapon X, and it's going to be based on the whole Weapon X program and blah, 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 all that good stuff. So I think we had a small taste of it in... Uh, um, Oh, never mind. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody, so I'll leave that alone. But uh, Wolverine Weapon X is going to happen, and so Marvel Comics presents number 72 through 84. Those are all books to be on the lookout for, and should be very easy to find right now. Uh, Wolverine number 80, uh, test tube of X-23 label on it. Um, Definitely a book to grab. It had some heat in the past, uh, but I would definitely pick it up now because, as I said before, X-23 will be in the new Wolverine movie as well, so it's going to heat up. I'm slowly seeing all the uh, places that I would be picking books up from on the cheap. They're starting to... The X-23 stuff is starting to disappear, and I'm kind of going, man, i got to get on this. Start picking up more and more of the uh, earlier appearances of X-23, because it's about to get pretty hot. Um, Batman Rebirth. So, there are tons and tons of variant covers for Batman Rebirth coming out, or have been out, or, you know, they're just... They're, they're, they're coming out all over the place, and everybody wants in on the uh, Batman Rebirth game. Um, so, some of the honorable mention books that I have seen variant covers of, um, previews and whatnot, that I would be looking at buying um, if you were wanting to buy them. The uh, Del Auto variant is sweet. Looks awesome. Catwoman on the cover of that one. Um, I'll probably hack the hell out of this dude's name or whatever, so, got that mosquito. <laughs> Beat the hell out of myself on camera, that'll work, right? Uh, Gillum March, uh, variant, the, um, the Hastings variant, those are all, uh, great looking variants, and I would definitely pick them up, because I think that they will have the most steam behind them. Mostly because of the content on the cover. Um, I know a couple of them have uh, have um, Harley Quinn on the cover as well. So she always helps sell. Sorry, it just happens. Um, Lois and Clark, number eight, is an older book. Um, but they're still floating around on the uh, shelves at the local comic shop. So if you find one... The first official new Superboy, um, so get on that, pick it up. The other thing you want to look for while you're out and about is uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America number one. Um, those are books to look for right now because they're getting hotter and hotter. You can catch that hype. I don't recommend catching or spending the extra to buy them if you find them at cover. Pick them up, go with it there. The uh, Lois and Clark first official Superboy, that'll be one to hold on to if you don't want to just work with the hype because anytime a new character pops up, it tends to have a little better staying power later on. Um, so you can either hold it or fold it right now, but it's not a bad book to have. Um, wanted to talk about collecting. And how some some collectors joining the uh, hobby are, I guess they're uh, going at going about their collecting. So I see a lot of people that are, you know, especially on Facebook. Okay, let's let's back up a little bit here. So Facebook has become a great marketplace. Uh, for collectors you get to interact you get to be more personalized and you can communicate with those more experienced to gain some more knowledge um, the best thing is seeing what books are hot 
and what books are really starting to heat up and based on the activity of main sellers and buyers that are always doing stuff on there. Um, that being said, sorry there's mosquitoes floating around me, so I don't mean to be all twitchy, but <laughs> I really don't want to be ate up by mosquitoes right now. Um, so with new book or with new collectors, they tend to go after the big dollar books and uh, or well they want to they try and then they find themselves not able to afford the hobby and starting to get discouraged from it what i see more often than not is the fact that there are some people going after high grade books right off i mean we live in a time that is awesome because of uh, the technique, the practice of cleaning and pressing your books. Um, if you have the ability to find a book on the lower uh, price ranges, and say it's a uh, Nova number one, and you're seeing this book is probably around a 6.5 or a 7, we'll say a 7, and the book has no real major deep flaws, no color breaking, no tears, no no writing, no cutouts, nothing like that. It has substantial amounts of surface rippling, uh, things like that. Those are flaws you want to see uh, because you can get a massive bump if it's done right, if it's clean and pressed properly from a professional. Um, the, that, that's honestly how I buy a lot of books. I will look at that book and base my pricing, my purchasing on what the book looks like at that current moment and then what I think I can turn it into. Um, a lot of people don't have the abilities that I do and I understand that, but if you really get after it and you start seeing the books that you uh, that you like and at are a level you can afford, then you can start sending them off slowly to get the books uh, bumped up in grade and either turn those books into even higher grade books or just stop where that level ends up being. Um, <clears throat> It's a, it's a pretty cool thing to do, and it helps you build up your collection to a point where you're satisfied and you can be proud of what you have and not worry about going out and dropping a, a ton of coin on your collection and being disgusted at the end of the day going, man, I can't afford to do this anymore. Um, I wish I had more money. I wish I had uh, better books, blah, blah, blah. There are always ways to do it, so you just have to be patient. You have to go out there, gain that little knowledge that you need to know and recognize what can be pressed out easily to increase the value of that book. Um, even beaters can be bumped up half a grade, even a full grade, and then you can turn around and trade that off to somebody um, for another book and just keep working it out so um, those are definitely things I would consider and uh, you know the tips like I mentioned before with uh, perks perk TV the app those are uh, those are things that can help you buy books uh, on using gift cards and whatnot uh, through Amazon eBay and even getting some uh, getting some uh, PayPal because uh, that app allows you to get PayPal directly. You, you lose some, some value on your points when you go after PayPal. That's why I stick to uh, that's why I stick to uh, uh, eBay and Amazon because I can find some uh, some great books and I get it for free so what do I care, right? <laughs> um, Let's see, so 
I don't really think that I have anything else to talk about. I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, check out the Angry Geek Show. Uh, Jeremy and Lewis, great guys, always talking about some cool stuff. And, uh, you know, have some uh, other guests in their, uh, on their show from time to time. So check them out. Enjoy the show with them. Um, again, Weapon X Comics, winner of my last contest. If you guys will go ahead and subscribe. Uh, once I hit 200 subscribers, I'm going to go do another giveaway. So uh, I'll figure out what that's going to be. And you know what? I'll just do, when I hit 200, 200 subscriptions, I will, uh, I will clean and press... Um, we'll say two books. I'll clean and press two books for somebody. Um, so you get a professional clean and press on two books. And, uh, we'll go with that. So, once I hit 200 subscribers. So, that's it for me, guys. And I hope you guys have a great night. Go out and find some awesome deals. I'll be scrounging around tomorrow myself. And, uh, hopefully find some, some sweetness. So that's it for me. Deal King out. Sorry about the long uh, cancellation of the uh, show there. Peace.